Hi guys, welcome to my mom's YouTube channel. My name is Tiffany Chapchishti and I'm going to teach you the basics of coding in HTML. In this video, we are going to use videos, Visual Studio Code and it's very important you should have it. So if you don't have it, you can use Notepad++, but it's very important to use a code editor. Today, I'm going to teach you the basics of HTML. HTML is like, HTML is a programming language and HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which I'm not going to cover today, JavaScript. I'm just going to cover HTML and CSS. So it's like making a house, HTML, the foundation, CSS, the decorations, and then JavaScript, the water is working, the electricity is there. Yes, so in this video, now we need to go to Visual Studio Code, which is very important to have. You open it. You go to File, New File. Yes, I'm going to name mine index.html. index.html so guys after you name it you build it and then create new one if you want to replace it yes me i have done a lot of them like those so i'm going to replace it yeah let me start it let me I'm starting so HTML there's a lot of things for example the doc type doc type is a must you put in because it's like the it's like telling the computer I have started doing HTML so you should write the doc type first you write opening and closing doc type does not have a closing doc type so it's just there and then there is the HTML. HTML, you write HTML, it's like it's like the house. You see the house and then the children inside the house. It's the title, the head, the title, the body, and then the closing HTML. When you open up HTML, you will say you write HTML, and then you write another HTML, which is the closing HTML, opening and closing, and then there's a head header tag. Header tag is like the parents now. Head is you write the header tag. After writing the header tag, you put in a little bit of something. You write header tag, opening header tag, and closing header tag. You write two of them. One is opening, one is closing. Same as to HTML. Now, in the middle of the opening and closing header tags, you are going to write title. Now, the title, you are going to write opening title and closing title. Between it, you are going to write the title, the title that you want. As you know, a title is a... Uh, is the word that helps to helps you to get information about a book or anything okay yes and then the body the body now is where you're going to write all the programs and all the things you want to get in now when you write the body when you write the body you write the opening body and the closing body and then there's the p P stands for paragraph. You write it in the be between opening body and closing body. So, like you can write H1. H1 is uh, the head, the the header of that program you're going to write. H2 H2 is like a header, but not as big as the not as big as the first one head header head 
heads goes up to head six so like if you want the smallest one is six the biggest one is one yes now there is the html now the html you write it in the beginning after doc type and then in the end after body okay guys that's very important and now let's get into it i'm going just to teach you the basic how to write the param <laughs> as i was saying there's the opening and closing html yes this is the opening opening html now you see there's a opening html and a closing html have you understood there's an opening html and a closing html you you are wondering why are we calling it closing html now closing html and why it's making it close it's the it's the slash that's going after the darkers after that so like that slash that goes after before the html or the word html that's what makes it closing because you see in the opening html it does not have any slashes but in the closing html it has one slash that's why we call it closing now we are going to go in head now as i as i was telling you there is an opening and closing for the head header tag so the header tag is here is the opening and the closing one and it's same as what i explained to html we call it we call it closing because it has this slash now let's write the title let's write the title write title close the title in between you can write any title you want i'm going to write my first website my first website yes after writing that we are going to write the link so we can do the css part so i'm going to write link link rel We are going to write the link. Yes, I'm going to write the link. Well, then that. Thank 
bed sheet which has a year is equal to the standard TSS. Stand sheet. Yes, style sheet. I'm going to write style sheet. We write HRF. Style dot CSS. Dot CSS. Yes, after writing this, you're going to close it. A link is a self closing tag. And yes, you are finished writing that. You go to head. Now we go to board. Body is a uh, opening and closing tag. It does not self close. In body, we are just we are going to write paragraphs H one and explain them all to you. Yes, in the body we are going to write H1 and H1 give it a paragraph until you reach H6 so you can see the difference how big and small they are and we are going to add a line break yes let's get started Which one we are going to write a title. This title we are going to write it as we are going to write this This is my website. This is my website. Website. This is my website. We are going to go, then we put a paragraph. We put a paragraph. We are going. I'm going to write lorem and then tab. If you are using Visual Studio Code, that will be much easier than using Notepad plus plus. That's why we told you it's important. Yes, I'm going to write, write Lorem, then Tab. We are going to put a line break. You 
write B and R like this B R then we close it then we go on H2 we're going to go to H2 up to H6 so you can understand the difference between how big and how small the head is, header is going to be we are going to write This is my website again, three times and then go on. Yes. When we are done, now to, we go to paragraph. And lorem is not an important thing to write. It's just some garbage text. text. It's not really important because it's just there. For an example, yes, let's go to P. And if you are using Notepad++, it's not a must you go, you write the whole lorem input, all those lorem. You can write your own text that you want, but it's not important to write the lorem. A line break BR. Yes, now we go to H three. This is my website. This is my website. My website. This is my website. We enter the P. Then a line break. I'm going to put a line break. Yes, now we're going to go to H4, 5 and 6. We are almost done. Then you're going to see the difference between it, okay? Yes, let's go right into it. H4. Yes, we write, I love my website. I love my website. My website. Yes. 
the paragraph e stands for paragraph and yeah we are going to write poem Lauren. yes Now we put a line break. We are line break. We go on H5 and H6. Only two more. So H5. H5. We're going to write I like my website. Love my website. My website. Guys, this is okay to use a laptop, a computer. Yes, it's it still does the same work. Yes. Now we write the paragraph. Loading as always. Line break. Guys, if yours don't does not work, you should check for the mistakes. You see, if you put all the things required, and it will be good. Now we are on to um, H5 and H6. I mean, now go H6, the smallest of all. I love my website. I love I love my website. Now we go write paragraph and then we close all of it with as we close all of it with HTML, and then we go with the CSS and we see how it turns out. Laura. Remember guys, it's not a must you write all this because they are just garbage text. Um, let's go on. Yes, now we put the line break and we close it. We go, we do CSS and we see how it turns out. Yes, I'm so excited because I'm tired of writing all this H1, H2, up to H6. I'm tired. So, go line break. We are close. Yes, and we are, f we are almost done. We go to here. Now we go add. We are going to close HTML. We close 
HTML, we come here to file, we save, now we go to file, new text file, we are going to name it style.css, style.css because over here you have written style.css. .css. Built in create file. Yes, so we want to decorate. As I told you, it's like making a house. Now we have made our foundation. Now we just want to decorate our house. Now, as in a program, yes. I'm going to write the word baby. You put the curly braces, yes, if they are very important. Do not leave, the, leave it just like that. Now we are going to write background color and the paragraph color. So we are starting with the background color. Me, I like aqua, it's my favorite color. And Tiffany Blue. If you know the color Tiffany Blue, please. I love it so much. If you know where it's found or how it looks, just take a picture and put it in the comments down below. Now I'm going to write the color of the... Yes, just like that. I don't want to write more things because I've already wrote. So, like aqua, the usual color. Now I close the calibrated base opening and closing. Calibrated, I go here to file, I save, and then I come here. Here, in the explore folder. Now, recently, it's index.html. Now this is what we have created. If you have written, you should have this. And this is what I was telling you. Like you see, H1, the biggest paragraph. The biggest H2, second biggest. You see, it's not as big as this, but it's bigger than this. H3 is not as big as this, but it's almost the same size as this. And H4, not as big as it's not as big it's just there and then h5 smaller now h6 the smallest of them all and if you don't want to use the same colors i used aqua it's not a must you can come here change the color let's say we put which color custom uh aqua is going good let's put Light blue, blue. Or we put Stephen blue. You can put this color. I don't know. This blue. Yeah, this color looks good. I come. If you change something, you come. You save. Yes, and then you come in your folders. You check. How is it? Is it good? You see, I've changed the colors. It's it's there, it looks good, but I want to remain the color aqua. 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 Yes, and guys, your thing should. Remember, when you change something, you can save it. Yeah. You save it, and then you come to your folder. You check. You see? 
I changed, it was a color, now I've changed it, I've ch I changed it into another color, then I changed it back into aqua, and if you change something after you have saved, you need to save again, but not save as, just save, and that's all, that's it for today, and please subscribe, comment down below, and like the video, thank you, bye!